This morning, a local man is swimming across the Chesapeake Bay to put a spotlight on a great cause. I get tired walking up the stairs. <laughs> this guy's doing this. It's amazing. He left the eastern shore at 4 o'clock this morning. News three reporter Anthony Sumeba live along Chicks Beach, and this is where he's going to finish up later today after a real long journey. Yeah, that's the plan. Robert Cass is thinking it's going to take him anywhere between 12 to 14 hours possibly even longer to make it from Fisherman's Island all the way here to Chicks Beach right in front of Bowie 44. It's a 14 mile journey. Take a look. You can see where he's at right now. They've got this website kind of keeping track of him. He's uh, keeping it pretty close to the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. Still pretty close to Fisherman's Island, but got a decent chunk uh, down so far. And so here's a look at him training last month. That's when we caught up with him last. He's doing this, he says, to raise money for an organization called Ainsley's Angels. It's a nonprofit that helps people with disabilities race in endurance events by providing them racing chairs so those folks with disabilities can sit in that and then able-bodied athletes can push them in the races so they can take part. We've done a couple of stories with folks impacted by this organization. It's a great cause. Now we first caught up with Cass back in February when he was training in an indoor pool. He says this kind of challenge is out of his comfort zone, but it's easy for him to stay motivated. What motivates me when I'm out in the water is the parents who have these kids and the, the founder of this company who lost his daughter. The things that they have gone through show way more strength, way more resilience, way more endurance um, than I'll ever have on a one-day swim. The parents of these kids don't have, uh, they don't have people cheering their name at the end of the day. And with this swim, he's not just wanting to put a spotlight on Ainsley's Angels. He also wants to raise money for the organization. He says he's raised more than $5,000. Now you can see that on his CrowdRise webpage, but his goal right now is 50 grand. So if you're watching this story and you want to help out with that, we put a link in the story, WTKR.com. Now, meantime, I got to tell you, he's not swimming out there alone, so don't be you know, too worried about him. He has a boat with a crew, uh, including a medic you know, that, that's following him and kind of leading him his, on his way across the Chesapeake Bay. They're also feeding him and keeping him hydrated. He stops, he says, every 30 minutes or so. And it uh, seems like so far so good based on that live look that we had at that website that's tracking him. And so hopefully he'll be able to finish that swim later today. We're, of course, going to let you know when that happens. So keep you up. we'll keep you updated both on air and online at WTKR.com. We're live in Virginia Beach. Anthony Sabella, News 3.